So this is the Sony Digitizer pen that comes with the Vio Duo 11, which is behind me here. There's a couple of things I want to tell you about the Digitizer pen that fit the design of the Duo. And the Duo is obviously a slider. Now, slider designs have a big disadvantage in that you lose a lot of the area of the base in which you could fit keyboards. So as a consequence, the keyboards are fairly compact in terms of front to back um, sizing. Sony have done a nice little job with this one in including a track point instead of a touchpad. So you, you gain that advantage of, of the space by putting the touchpad into the touch point. Unfortunately, the touch pointer is not ideal. It's an optical one. It would have been nice to have a physical one. But there's one great advantage about this design. And this is something really that I hadn't considered too much before. And that's stability. Look where the uh, center ball, the, the base point of the screen is. And if you can imagine that you've got this very strong uh, plate at the back, you can easily see that it's a very, very solid screen. Now it's not adjustable, but it has big advantages. When it comes to using a digitizer, that's exactly you want, what you want. And this is a touch pressure sensitive digitizer. So you have a really nice, in fact, the best Ultrabook I've ever tested with a digitizer, the best um, possibility to use all the features of a digitizer pen. This is, um, this is not an entry. This is, and he's forgotten the name of the manufacturer of the, uh, the layer there. Um, but it's irrelevant. This is um, active digitizer, so you can do things like hovering. And as you can see, I'm not touching the screen, but I am hovering here. And if you were to go to, um, here's a website, um, which has got some hover actions um, like that's that one there's probably got a hover action well at least you get the mouse over tips as well um, let's just go to here I believe that if we go to all posts here I can demonstrate here some some mouse over actions I'm just going to zoom right in and here you'll see the mouse over action now those menu items and I'm not touching the screen. Those menu items are not available with the finger. You see that? But if you use a digitizer, there's the additional menu items. And that is something you'll find embedded in many, 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 many websites. Pull down menus, uh, for example, often, often have a mouse over action. And with the finger, finger, it's not possible to get them. So the digitizer allows you to pull out those missing bits of web pages that you don't get on a touch screen device. So two advantages there, the digitizer is adding um, more features to web, the web, uh, web pages. Um, it's adding, uh, of course, ability to do pressure sensitive work with um, applications like Fresh Paint. And I hope I can just quickly demonstrate uh, that here. We'll just go to something I did earlier um, and try and demonstrate uh, some uh, difference in, there you go, so I can do the light and I can do heavy as well. Can you see that? Just uh, just do that once more, so just a light touch on the screen, so not touching, you can see the where the pointer is, just a light touch there and then down to a heavy touch. I think it's 128 points. And I'm pushing pretty hard, you can actually see the device moving back. Now let me just move in this Lenovo Yoga 13 and I'm going to apply the same pressure to the screen uh, on this. It's irrelevant what happens when I apply the pressure but there you go. You see the flex and that's about the same pressure I was applying here. Okay, I can move the whole device by pushing hard but this one you've got all that horrible flex which means you don't get the advantage of the pressure sensitivity there. Once again pushing, tapping really nice and hard on this, and tapping nice and hard on that, and you can see the screen wobble. So that is, in a nutshell, um, the advantage of the slider design. Um, this is an extremely stable design for digitizer work. It's also an extremely stable design if you're using it, for example, on the side of a chair, or even on your lap. Um, in fact, it's one of the nicest touchscreen devices I've ever used in terms of really stable usability and accuracy of touch and pen work. And of course with the Windows 8 user interface that brings advantages as well. As a tablet, that's another matter. Read the review on ultrabooknews.com 
uh, for more information about the uh, Sony Vio Duo 11, but we'll leave it at that to say that that's one of the best digitizer-based tablets or tablet, uh, digitizer-enabled tablets that I've ever tested.